Welcome, today we have a really fantastic tutorial for all of you war gamers out there, especially you sci-fi fanatics, whether it's 40K or Star Wars Legion, we're gonna show you how to build a ruined corner, a ruined piece of terrain for your gaming table. We've got our XPS foam here, we've prepared it by sanding it, and we're gonna cut out a couple corners here, just organic shapes, make it look like rocky ruined rubble, using our hot wire foam cutter. Very simply, you see Thomas is just gently pulling that hot wire foam cutter through that XPS foam like butter. We're gonna match these up and then we're just gonna cut off the corner to make sure that they meet up and they're nice and even. That's a nice little pro tip there. Now Thomas is marking out two sides on either end and he's going to cut these because we are going to make multi-levels for this piece of ruined terrain. This is gonna add another dimension, literally, to your gaming. Once you've cut them, you're gonna take your old trusty brick, rock, or aluminum foil ball and just add some texture by pressing it into the sides here. Now Thomas is cutting out the platform or the base of this ruined piece. This is gonna be a nice right angle on one side. It's gonna have a nice organic shape on the other. It's really gonna fit in well on your gaming table. Using your hot wire foam cutter, you can just trace it along the edge and pull along the edge here to add some chips and just some breaking points where this ruined piece had broken and it gives it a more realistic broken and ruined appearance. You can be as random as you want here, as deep as you want, or you can leave it as sharp as you'd like to. It's really up to you and what you're going for with your terrain. Using your Battlefield's basing glue or XPS foam glue, you're going to apply it to one side of your wall and then just simply adhere it to the platform or base of your ruin. Then you're going to apply it to the top and add your second level here, just like so. You can have a little bit of an overhang, it adds a bit of architectural interest and just another cool design feature to your ruined wall. Once that's on, you can begin applying the top level of the wall, like so. All you do is just simply put your glue on either of the corners and adhere them together. You wanna line these up as best you can to get a nice right angle. Then we're gonna apply some of our glue into the corners here and a little bit in random patterns on the bottom of the base or platform of this terrain feature and apply some of our scenery sand on top. This is gonna give a nice weathered and textured appearance. Now it's time to head on outside and give your can of Game Master Dungeon and Subterrain Primer a good shake and give it a nice even coat all over. This is a nice brownish gray, a nice rich brownish gray color. When you're finished, turn the can upside down Activate the nozzle and spray until pigment stops emitting from the nozzle. This is a great way to clean it for future projects. Once your subterranean primer has had time to dry, it's time to apply a base coat. We're going to apply an overbrush of dungeon base from the Game Master set. Any dark, rich gray will do. When you're overbrushing, you're just going to apply it all over the model, leaving some of that base tone in the deepest recesses. Then we're gonna move on to Dungeon Highlights. This is a lighter shade. You could also use Ash Gray from the Army Painter War Paints range. And we're going to apply our first highlights in the dry brush fashion. We're just gonna flick the bristles of the brush over top the most extreme and raised areas. While dry brushing is one of the easiest techniques, it's also one of the most useful techniques when you're painting up large pieces of terrain like so. Next, you'll apply a final highlight using Dungeon Effects. This is a nice bright gray that you're just gonna focus in the most raised edges. Using Subterrain Wash from the Game Master Core Set, you can begin applying some weathering. And I love this wash because it's a nice mossy dark green and it gives it a really nice aged and weathered effect. Thomas is just applying a streaking technique by applying streaks of this wash down the panels of the ruined walls. A really simple way to finish off your terrain piece and add another layer, another dimension of texture and realism to them is to grab some tufts. Any color tufts will do from the Battlefield's tufts range and just apply them. We like to apply them into the corners and then in a random fashion across the platform of the base to give it a nice realistic effect as if some grass and growth is growing from the rubble. And there you have it, our ruined wall is complete. You saw how fun and easy it is in just a few simple steps to build what is the most commonly found piece of terrain in all of Wargaming. Whether it's historical gaming, science fiction, or fantasy, Game Master has something for you. Check it out at thearmypainter.com. <laughs>